What is up, guys? It is the Blue Bloods here with some breaking news. I know CFL, some of the people were gonna were saying it was gonna happen, but now it is official. Is Dallas Daniels, former Western Illinois wide receiver, commits to Jackson State, announces his transfer to join the Tigers already loaded wide receiving core. And so now this on the one hand, a huge pickup, man. I've been a real big fan of this kid playing over in the MVFC, being a huge contributor for Western Illinois, as we'll break down in a second. But it also brings to question who in that wide receiving room is going to fall down the depth chart, because I do think Daniels has the talent to be an immediate contributor. And we'll get into why I think that. But first off, man, huge addition by Jackson State. I know a lot of people are going to say they really didn't need a wide receiver, which could be fair, man, but they land a former three-star kid, top 70 player out of Ohio back in the 2018 recruiting class. And this kid's been balling out over at Western Illinois, man. And you know, was the third leading receiver last year with over 500 yards, had five or more receptions and multiple showings, only had two receiving touchdowns, man, but he was just a key guy getting the football for their Corvette to get the football to. He was a Missouri Valley Football Conference all-newcomer team his junior season in the 2020-2021 season over in the spring, was on the academic honor roll, and in just six games had over 34 pa uh, catches for over 360 60 yards and two touchdowns and had a season high against uh, against runner up South Dakota State with over 111 receiving yards and had the longest pass caught of the season at over 60 yards for Western Illinois and was fifth in the Missouri Valley in receptions per game and top 10 in receiving yards per game and had five receptions in all six games in the 2020-2021 season. He's been a very big contributor for Western Illinois. Going back to high school, is ha, holds the school record for his high school in receiving yards and touchdowns, is a state champion, was a first-team all-conference selection, first-team all-area, and honorable mention in all-state out of Dayton, Ohio. So Dallas Daniels has done it all on the football field. And so what I think this brings Jackson State, just in my opinion, is experience. You look at Malachi Wadman, young player. Trevante Rucker, young player. You even look at, you know, even a tra Travis Hunter, and a, a true freshman. And you brought in a lot of guys that, like a Kevin Coleman, that are freshmen, sophomores, that don't have a lot of experience. And what Dallas, and what Dallas Daniels is going to offer you as a guy with four-plus years of experience at the highest level of FCS football, playing in the most competitive conference in the FCS, in the MVFC. That's the same conference, if you don't know, with North Dakota State, South Dakota State, and some of the top dogs at the FCS level. And Dallas Daniels is not going to be outshined or be surprised at any level of the competition that he's about to start facing at Jackson State. And I think that's something that's going to be invaluable with the addition of Daniels to Jackson State. When I look at his game, he's not going to be a huge explosive play guy, kind of like a Malachi Wadman, not really a one-on-one -on -one guy like you get in Toronto Rucker. And he's and he can fit in the slot if need be. But I what I think he's going to bring, and I don't I want to hear y'all's opinions on this. I think he's going to bring a Keith Corbin type mentality type skill set to Jackson State's offense. When you look at what Jackson State was bringing last year, they had Warren Newman and Josh Lanier in the slot. They had Wadman and Rucker and even Hooks on the outside to be their big play guys. But then they 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 look at what they look at what Corbin was bringing. And that was consistency. When Shador just needed to get a first down, get a play made, get some yards, get the offense rolling, he looked Corbin's way. And the number one thing Corbin brought was just consistency. He was consistently open. He was consistently in the right spot, making the right play. And he really came on later in the year as one of the top targets for Shador Sanders. And for me, watching film, knowing a little bit about Dallas Daniels, that's what I think he's going to bring to this offense experience and consistency similar to what Keith Corbin brought to the offense last year. I think this guy is uber talented. He he could potentially even have a future at the next level. What's what's the next step now is him getting into the offense for Brett Bartoloni and finding room to 
get on the field for the Jackson State team. You look now, they're probably 10, 11, maybe even 12 guys deep at the wide receiver spot. Something has to give. There's one football, and at any given time, there's only really five spots on the field for a wide receiver to be most of the time four. So who is going to get that playing time? We didn't see Malachi Wadman this weekend, and we saw what Travis Hunter could do. We saw a little bit of Kevin Coleman who are going to be the guys that can get out there and play? And for me, looking at what Coach Prime wants, he wants guys who are consistent, who are going to consistently do their job, catch the football, and make plays. And so, when I'm looking at this, I think Dallas Daniels is ultimately going to find a role in this offense this year. He has one year of eligibility left, if I'm not mistaken, maybe two due to the COVID year. But for me. Dallas Daniels is going to be loaded with experience, loaded with talent, and is going to be that consistent, just middle of the field. I just need a play made. Let me find Dallas Daniels, and that's what he's going to offer you. I think this was a big loss for Western Illinois, but a huge gain for Jackson State. So comment below. Let me know what y'all think about Dallas Daniels ultimately deciding to transfer to Jackson State. Let me know who you think are going to be the guys at wide receiver, and how is Jackson State going to manage all these different type of personalities and talent in that wide receiving room? Do you see anybody transferring? Do you see anybody just ultimately deciding that they're not going to be able to see the field? But for me, very excited about Dallas Daniels. Go check out CFL's interview with him, man. I believe he was one of the recruits that came on CFL's show Saturday night. But for me, being an FCS guy, I've known about Dallas Daniels. I think he's been one of the more consistent wide receivers over the past three seasons, been playing at one of the highest levels in the FCS. And Jackson State landed an absolute baller and added some much-needed experience into an already loaded wide receiving room. But comment below your thoughts. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned right here for more Blue Bloods content coming later this week. We got Jackson State O-line commit Tyler Brown coming on tomorrow. Interview dropping at 11 a.m. Central Time. So make sure to be right here on YouTube at 11 a.m. to hear everything that Tyler has to say about Jackson State and his recruiting process. But for right now, guys, the Blue Bloods are out.